there is a skills shortage or a skills gap as we move more into cloud um, infrastructure and away from traditional data center infrastructure, the skill sets have to, to move rapidly as well to transition and to keep up. So I think that a lot of organizations are struggling to find teams that are the right size, the right fit and the right skill sets to help them keep ahead of today's modern threats. I think we need to be really, really focused on the skills um, that we're developing uh, locally. Um, and that we have within our society. Bain and Company estimate that by 2027, we are going to have a shortfall of 60,000 AI professionals here in Australia. We need to think about the investments that we need to make, perhaps government driven as well as privately driven in order to continue to build these skills. Um, it can be as simple as knowledge, awareness, you know, it's a big factor in taking away the fear factor of AI. Other countries are already putting that into place. We're seeing the changes in curriculums in other countries where they're educating in primary schools. So we need to shift in order to ensure that we are, as a nation, ready for what's coming. I'm a bit of an optimist. I see this as a way to make people more effective in their roles, but I think it is also true that we will see displacement of many roles. And I also think that we are never going to have enough electricians and electrical engineers and the people who make a lot of these systems operate. So there are going to be a lot of opportunities in the future. As it is going to be quite an adaption to people for people to shift from how they work currently to an AI-assisted version of what they do in the workplace. And I'm expecting many processes within organisations to change. And so people are going to need a lot of support and potentially retraining in order to adapt to that new world. And those skills aren't necessarily about learning how to do data science or coding. It can be about critical thinking. It can be about problem solving and creativity and understanding the ethical implications. It's so much more than just coding. Nurses make great cyber operations centered resources because they know how to herd cats. They know how to behave or how to act in an emergency situation. We're, we're untapped. We still need to do more as an industry to really encourage people to come in. What are the possibilities? Where is the potential for us to have employment at the end of this? And what are the real world scenarios that we need to be training for and getting the right skills to um, deploy? Technologies always create jobs as well as take jobs away. Um, but there's no guarantee that the net balance is going to be more jobs get created than destroyed. I'm optimistic that it will be. It, it's certainly a challenging transformation because at the very least people will need to be reskilled for those new jobs and we have to work out well, what are those new skills. AIIA has um, a number of initiatives around future workforce needs. We have a policy advisory network otherwise known as a PAN which is around workforce strategy and skills and that PAN works with academia and government and industry to understand where the skills shortages might actually be and then to work with them to understand how we best place the right training and education programs to meet that demand so that at the end of it our workforce is ready um, for whatever comes next.